Good afternoon, good afternoon, and welcome back to Island Life Channel. Well, today we have some conch, and we're gonna make some steam conch. So today I already clean up my conch. I have clean up my conch. I put my conch in some vinegar and lime. You can see my conch. I will clean up in vinegar and lime. So what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna pour out this water. Pour some more water on it. And now we just continue to clean up water. Alright? Look at my comb pretty. Look at that. Clean it. And pretty. Now we just continue clean up our comb. Alright? Now I'll wash it in three times. You already wash it, clean it up in vinegar. Alright? Now, for this process, what I want to show. Some of my subscribers and friends because I have subscribers and friends all over the globe. Guess what? With conch to get conch tenderized, right? To get conch tenderized, you gotta um, you gotta beat conch. You understand me? I mean, I see a lot of people cook conch. I don't know how we do, it, but in the Bahamas, what we do when we want to tenderize our conch, we beat it. So we got a conch beater. This is our conch beater right here. I have my previous video, but I show you guys this in, but I want to show you it again. All right, so after clean your conch up, what you're gonna do, you're gonna place it in a clean plastic bag, cause you're gonna continue the beating process. Stay tuned and stand by. As I say, you just get a clean plastic bag, and you just continue to beat your conch. Look at that. Easy as that. Right? That's it. It's going to beat your conch. If you don't beat your conch, and then either it take longer to cook, either it take longer to cook. Ah, I never cook conch without me beat it, so I would know how it tastes um, if you don't beat your conch. Not a hard process, you know, you just continue, continue. on either side and on either side you can to beat your conch <coughs> right. and there we continue look at it you can look I don't know if you could see through the plastic bag but when I finish This is a piece of conch skin out, but I leave that on because I think sometimes you go to the bio conch and you just ask them and they come a piece of conch skin and you just put it in that cook it right? right? But if you look at it, you can see kind of mushy out and that's how actually tenderize. Now, the season in your conch. Seasoning is put what you want on your conch. You understand? Seasoning is put what you want on your conch. It's not a special season to put on your conch. You could put the seasoning you want. Alright? Stay tuned. When I finish, I'm going to show you the finished product. So right. Shereen. So right here. Let's turn over it. I just continue to be my tongue. I'm just turning on each side. Each side. I just continue to be my tongue. Right? That's a little show. 
Not, I mean, I, this is my behemoths. My eye will show my behemoths one day. Because they know this. In the Bahamas, everybody in the Bahamas knows the name Conquer. Because we love Conquer the Bahamas. Right? So, yeah. And that's basically the done photo. That's your tenderizer. Yeah. You call, in the Bahamas, we call this the tenderizer. Otherwise, the count be the To come to a little as much as you want to come to this, right? I guess so. That's it. I ain't gonna beat this no more. I'm gonna take it out of the pan and I'm gonna show you. Stay tuned. Now, look at that. That is my count in the, the basin after I done tenderize it. Look at the piece of Look at that. The conch is tenderized. Look at that. Look at that. You can see this. It's not no big hard piece of conch in it no more because it's tenderized. Look at that. Got the conch be to tenderize it. So I'm going to season it now. With this season process, right? You could season your conch any way you want to season your conch. A lot of people who don't like this, don't like that, we're saying, why you put this and why you put that? Well, season, season is how you want it. Season is not how. The other person wanted so any of you want to season your conch, you season your conch. You understand? Last night, last time I cooked some conch, I put some garlic powder, in. garlic powder in my conch because garlic is another way of tenderizing. So I put a little garlic powder in my conch the last time. And um, one of my subscribers called me and asked me, Why did I put garlic powder in my conch? And he have a joke over it, but guess what? Conch was so nice and tender. And I love it. Stay tuned for the preparement of my gunk. Now I'm going to put on my oil, my season, and stay tuned. Okay, for my stew gunk, I put some oil in my pot, and I put my pot in the fire. Alright? Some people don't like to cook down, fry it, what I like to just fry it down a little bit. And I just put my gunk in. Okay, put my gunk in. My gunk is ready to and ready. I'm telling you this the way all you want. Not the way all I want, the way all you want. And that's exactly how you do it. Alright? Okay. That's it. After I beat my pot, don't put your finger in the pot now. Please, don't follow me and put my finger in the pot. Don't do that. That is not part of it after uh, the, 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 the fish. And guys, we did. Again, see, regularly. I don't use a glove to cook my food, but remember, I'm cooking for me, so that's why I don't use a glove, so it's a to use your, your thing. Now, this is not a must, but I love pepper, so I'm going to cook a piece of pepper in my pan. Not a must, but I kind of love pepper, I'm going to cook a piece of pepper cook in my pan. Yeah? Please, if you don't like pepper, don't do it. Alright. Okay. Just like so. Like now that I'm going to get some water. Like that. Get some water. And I'm going to pour it in my cup. Get my cover. And cover it now. Alright. Okay, so now this is my steam conch. Okay, so guess what? I have some cut herbs, and I'm just gonna pour my cut herbs, tomatoes, and, uh, and all of that in there. And, and, and that so good, that look. And 
what I'm gonna do, I have a carrot, right? And I'm gonna peel a carrot and put it in. So pretty that look. Give me a few minutes, I do my carrot. And after that, got my cut carrots, and I'm just gonna pour in my carrot. Yeah. Yeah. How pretty that is! Beautiful. Make another star. But you can see, look at my conch already. Look at my conch. So soft I could take it up. Look at that. That conch is tender. Tender. Look at that. Alright? Because guess what? I beat it and press it and I'm not and I ain't gotta overcook my conch. I ain't got to do that. Because guess what I have done? I beat my conch and tenderize it. And I'm gonna overcook it. In fact, you overcook your cup. Sometimes it can taste like rubber. But look at that. How pretty that is. Stay tuned. Well, let's take a look at our conch. Wow, well, look at that. That look at Didn't use a big spoon. It's not a lot. But I just want to show you. Wow. My steam conch look at Look at that. Look at that. Soft. You can see that. Mm. So I can make this come down a little bit more. And I'm going to plate it up. I'm going to show you. Oh, um, the piece of the piece. Mm. I'm gonna eat about a couple more minutes. And that will be my steel pan. So after a couple minutes, open it back, we are good, and I'm going to share Thank you. Okay, this is done product of my steam conch. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank for watching. God bless.